guys. So we back. Show them the mess we made last night, babe. I'm trying to figure some things out. And I had a couple more orders to pack. I am tired. Side hurt. Back hurt. Um, Nicole got a migraine and she up here helping me. But we are getting the orders out. Thank you so, 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 so much. And we're headed to the post office next. Girl. Baby, boom. Y'all got it jumping. Happy anniversary to us. This is how we bring it in 10 years, but we ain't tripping, huh? No. <laughs> Woo, I'm trying to record. Was it my purse? Uh -uh. Base strong. Let me get the elevator at least. Post office run number one. <laughs> Well, Bay already got bags in her with her. This is what's left because it's not all gonna fit. So yeah, happy anniversary to us. We just ran into one of you guys. I should have vlogged, but it was like a car full of people and I didn't want everybody on camera. Um, Yeah. Oh, I forgot her name. The cousin name was Keisha. I got to do better. But hey y'all, hey y'all. Yeah, we up here grinding. She said she was just watching us last night and ran and said, oh my God, she's in Dallas and ran smacking to me today. Ain't God good. Okay. Bye. Here go, babe. You got more room? A little bit. Get it, little babe. You got two bags empty? Yeah. She said I was just watching y'all last night and ran straight into you this morning. <laughs> she FaceTimed her cousin and everything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He said, probably this truck or the bags. I don't know. Post office number does. She got me out in some daisy dukes. It's raining, it's cold. Time I bring her some more packages. Uh, We're down to one bag, but let's go. Oh, shit, it's cold in there. All right, go, go, go. <laughs> we're doing the most but y'all gonna get this work i'm already behind because i was out of town for my birthday god good good we're gonna finish with two nicole need a race <laughs> damn turn to the side okay oh see what you bring me it got you the pins too. Oh yes, thank you so much, sir. <laughs> thank you so much. I need a whole bunch of them. <laughs> Say hey to the people. <laughs> Come on, so we can go. <laughs> I got my. You didn't even do it right. The bag went all above my wig. <laughs> <laughs> Bam, too lit. My baby made me a shirt to go with one of my new pair of birthday shoes. She got to redo it though. I mean, she ain't redoing mine. We ain't wasting no shirt. But she's not happy. So she practicing. And look at my beautiful baby. Guess what, girl? Guess what your papa said? What? Tell her, Nicole. What? What'd my uh, daddy just say? If that, if that was, uh, you ain't know, like, doing the granddaughter. I said, um, excuse that right there. We're working on that. <laughs> <laughs> we tried to paint the wall. Put it up again. I said, um, that's your granddaughter. <laughs> yeah, she got her personal shirt made for school. Baby, you too, you too lit. Smile for me. <laughs> <laughs> Smile for me. My face mask is going to break. It's already breaking. <laughs>
guys i'm leaving the post office it is cold in the day today i can't even believe it's cold like this is i've been having this cold for about 11 12 years so um i have been running errands all day i went to the warehouse and did orders um that's all that's gonna go out today if i get any more i package them in the morning send them out tomorrow they still coming in thank you guys <laughs> y'all i gotta research somebody you guys are gonna be so proud of me because i made an appointment to get um my nails done and my nose hair is waxed because baby them things be annoying the hell out of me when i'm editing they so long and it be looking like i got stuff in my nose i can't take it and i got a shitload of packages i picked up today one of you guys packages came back how the hell am i supposed to know what package this is oh the order slip in the inside i guess this is one of you guys' packages. It came back. So I got to figure out who this go to and email them. But the rest of this stuff is mine. And then, um, yeah, I'm going to record some fashion videos tonight because I feel good. And so I got to get that kind of stuff out the way when I feel good and have energy. Otherwise, it's a no-brainer. We end up not doing anything for our anniversary. Which is crazy because I had two milestones this year. Birthday and anniversary. 40 is a milestone. 10 year anniversary is a milestone. But this whole year been unpredictable, y'all. So what time is it? I'm here to give me some lunch. And yeah, I actually ate yesterday. I ate two baked potatoes. I ate one for lunch and one for dinner. I didn't put any salt on them, but they were so good. I used that Flavor Guys lemon something on there because i put lemon pepper on my baked potatoes um lemon garlic that's what it is from flavor gods my eye and then um some nun some nun dairy sour cream and cheese and a, like a sprinkle like a, a bacon bits and it was so good both times so <sighs> bae is doing okay she not okay she's so scattered brain and she it's ridiculous it's kind of hard but she's back at work today so hopefully she's having a better day but around the house it's just like i tell her to do something. oh i forgot or oh, i tell her to specifically to do something she'll do it the opposite it's like weird um so <clears throat> it was really rough her seeing her dad because if if you guys haven't been watching my vlogs he's on hospice home hospice um he has lung spine cancer and there's nothing else they can do so you guys remember when i was packing orders last week at the warehouse i sent this lady vest back out to her because it had been five weeks and i waited so long i mean she waited so long without bothering me so i put extra stuff in her box well the original package came back <laughs> it was in my p.o box the whole time so yeah then I got some candles and waxes from a small black business. Something else from a small black business. Rats and Barbies Boutique. They'll be my small black haul. And I got some shoes, but that's going to be in an Amazon haul. So, baby, I'm too mad. I went to, to no, I went to Fuel City. It's like Chipotle, but 80 times better. And got me a bowl. I said, I just want roast beef, cheese, and sour cream. Get home, they didn't even put the rice in her. They know what the hell I meant. Oh, girl, you're snacking. Look at that. Woo! Pastel Dream Auto Eyeliners. I love. No, I ain't never tried these. Oh, wow. Look at the promo. Nikki 10, I think that's my code on the LA Girl website. It will get you money off. Of course, it will be linked where? Below. So here are all the new colors. I thought this was the eyeliners they already have in color, but this is a new one. Yes, so, ooh, look at that white. Mm. Yes, guy, I, I love green liners, so yeah. So also, Laura Mercier sent over a box. Nick and Norton. Okay, let's see what's in here. What we got, what we got, what we got, a lot of stuff. 
Ooh, is this in English? Okay, yeah, some cereal hors d'oeuvres, entree, appetizers, dessert. <laughs> so this was in here. Open it up. They always seem like cute little bags. It's folded over, guys, but it's kind of big. And so this right here is the Perfect Cream Multi Task and Moisturizer. And this right here is the Tinted Moisturizer. Child, what color? Okay, they know my color, Nutmeg. And there's something in here also. Hold this baby girl. There's just a bag. There's some stuff in this bag if they like it. Yeah, some lip products. Something else in there? Mm -mm. Okay, hold on, y'all. All right, guys, so I've swatched all of these colors for you guys. All of them come up pretty good on my skin except the yellow. It kind of washes it out a little bit. Hold up, I got one more to swatch. The card don't say how much they are. And then here's the purple one. I didn't see this in here. It's a Kajal Auto Liner. Love their eyeliners. You guys know I use one of their brown eyeliners on my brows. That's the only thing I use now. I swear by it. And I just jump brands. So let's get back on Laura Mercier. Okay, so they say this is six products for an effortless look. Okay, so let's see. So that's what they say. And here's the cream and stuff. I don't know if I should swatch this. Let me just show y'all. This is nutmeg again. Looks pretty accurate. It's pretty cold because it's cold in Dallas. It must have been sitting on the porch or something. Oh, I can't wait to try that. Oh, I can't wait to try that for real, for real. So let's see what it... Okay, so the tinted moisturizer is $47. The moisturizer is $68. And I get my Laura Mercier from Sephora. So this is the Caviar Eye Stick Color in Nude Rose. It's $29. Whoa, look at this, guys. This is pretty. Just swipe that on your eye and go. So, that is the entree. And then there's a mascara in here. And baby, I need some mascara. It's the Caviar Volume Mascara. Y'all know I don't open mascara until I'm ready to use it. As soon as you open, the expiration date starts and it starts drying out. And then the dessert is the lips, the long wear lip liner in crimson. It's $26. The mascara was $25, just in case I didn't see it. it hold up, $26? Laura Mercier, this look like a beauty supply pencil. Oh, it's a pretty red, though. And then the lipstick is the Rouge Essential Silky Cream Lipstick. And it's $32. Oh, now that's a packaging. It's cold too, guys. It's heavy as metal. Oh, wow. Baby, yes. There's that red. So thank you, Laura Mercier and LA Girl. Links will be below for both of them. Hey, y'all. Yeah, hey. Okay, so I'm going to run some errands. I'm feeling better this week, if you guys can tell y'all. Literally, all last week, I felt so bad. My birthday week, um... When we went to see Nicole's mom and dad, I felt so freaking bad, but I didn't want to tell her that because, Lord, she already had enough going on. So I just sucked it up. I kept drinking my ginger tea, <laughs> resting, drinking a lot of water until I started feeling better because I was sick. So anyway, um, I'm going to work, post office, and then to drop a take a package back <laughs> Amazon package bag and you guys can go with me today yesterday I was on this phone gossiping so you guys can go to work with me and today I was on this phone gossiping all this morning shit I'm cold it's never cold here what the fuck I was on this phone gossiping all morning so I'm an hour and a half late I like to be at the warehouse at 12 so I can get the packages at the post office by like 1 and they can go out before five. So, anyway, um, yeah, so we do have to go back to Nashville. Her mom's uh, surgery is scheduled on the 12th. If you haven't been catching up, my last vlog, I went to Nashville and Birmingham. 
Nicole dad has lung cancer that has spread it to his spine and he's on home hospice and her mom has breast cancer so um have to go back on the 12th I'm not sure if I'm gonna go back Nicole wants me to go back for moral support but you know that's traveling expenses one is better than two so we got to figure that out but anyway let's go baby I'm stay on that phone so I packed it's four orders I packed real quick. Now I'm at the post office, y'all. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. My people miss me. I've been gone a whole week. Closed right now. So everybody's waiting outside. But watch how VIP I am. Oh, well, I vlog from my phone. But I'm about to text them and tell them come get my packages. Watch this. Watch this. Oh, you can't see. Oh, hey. Some people deliver at the mailbox, so. I'm gonna slide these in there. Okay. Oh, you, okay. Thank you. Sorry. Oh, you Don't play with Big Plat. Don't play. Who the hell y'all think I am? <laughs> yeah, look at this. Oh, it's burning my leg. But KFC got the best freaking. Look how big that is. And they like five, six dollars. Let me just go and give y'all a. Ooh, wait, 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 wait. Jesus. Oh my gosh. Man, bye. Let me go and take my two, three bites and then I say the rest for shoot. But I gotta have it to kill this craving. Guys, I'm about to go through these bags and I got two more in the garage. So let's go. Change my mind, baby. Mm -mm. I gotta go get some storage bins at least. So my pillows and all that kind of stuff. I can put on a lid bin and put them in the garage. And then I got two more bags in the garage. But I need those bags for shipping my stuff. So I'm going to have to do that real soon. It's just real cold. So I don't feel like going to get no storage bins. Thank you, bitch. Heavy on the asparagus. For once, my ass is not on the phone. Ooh. I hate the cold weather. Not used to it. One bit. One bit sugar. So I got a few orders I need to pack. And I brought some stuff up here. Water. Cause I'll be stay Thursday. Period and goodbye. And the other day, oh, I got crackhead lips, but let me show y'all what I've been using. And the shit is bum. And it came from Dollar Tree. This cocoa Vaseline cocoa butter, mm. Dollar Tree. Oh, oh, oh gosh. Okay, yeah. And it smells so good. It's my Michael Kors bag is full of lippies, clear lippies. I mean, new lippies that I was in my luxury haul. Okay, this for everybody else because they was drinking my essential. And no man, no man, no man. So yeah. There you have it. So this was the free spray I was giving out, but I ran out because I had so many orders the last time. So, yeah, I kept this one because it wasn't sealed. Like, the seal was broke, and I don't want to send it to anybody. So, I got everything off my to-do list. So, let's erase this. That old list. Look at it. So, I brought a lot of stuff. These are free gifts. I ran out of stickers. So, you guys know I got a lot of makeup and stuff. So, I'm going to put them in the package as free gifts. I needed these bags to separate some things in the bins. This is a vest that was returned back to me. I need to put back the inventory. Some more scissors because we'll be sharing. <laughs> and these bags is what I transport stuff back and forth to the house. So I'm very low on the two and four things, but they're just all thrown in here. Hold on. So when I was packing orders, it made it really hard because I literally have to do it. Good. So I brought these to separate by size. This is all this stuff anyway. Y'all be shopping and I love it and appreciate it. So we recycle over here. 
so I'm taking a shin bag. I was gonna buy some Ziploc bags, and I'm like, child, boom, my label maker. I'm printing the size and putting it right here. Only two smalls left. There aren't any mediums at all. And I'm gonna do that for each size. And it's gonna make my life a whole lot easier because that was stressing me having to go through all of those that being, especially when it was full and getting them out of these storage bins, no ma'am. All right guys, so this is the small business hack of the week. Make do with what you have. I know you guys look at YouTubers for inspiration. You look at videos. You go and spend all this money on Amazon and business websites. And you need to start making money first. If you're making money, do what you want to do. If you're not making money, I'm making money, but I'm still frugal. So, yeah, even though Ziploc bags like this are $5 a box, these are sitting at home for free. That was unnecessary. So, I labeled them the smalls. You know, this is easier for me medium. It's easier for me to pull to it, you know, instead of going through it being like that. And I'll just leave these up here because I think, well, this is the only thing I needed to do like that. But I'll just leave them in case I get bigger sizes or something. So I'm going to pack the orders first. Yeah, I finally got to come to work with me. And I'm, they trying to get me on the phone now. But I'm like, no. I need to record for my YouTube family. I love y'all. Okay, so let's see how many orders this is. It's not a lot. Because baby beyond it. Period. And goodbye. Uh, yeah. So, let's do these orders. She got a Dallas Thung and a 3X, 4X. Boom, there's her order. She got one of them. She got a Carter Penny and a 3X, 4X. There's plenty of those. Buy those Carter Pennies. Y'all asked for these. They sold out so fast the last time that y'all asked. This is not it. It's actually a penny. I don't know why they're pitching on there. Um, and now it's... Nelly, 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 Nelly. <laughs> It's from Dollar Hideout and bracelet. A lot, lot, guys. So these all came from Dollar Hideout. I supported her. She's a black owned um dollar store. So I can use them as free gifts and stuff. Okay. I'm putting a thank you sticker on the outside of the, the envelope like I used to. I'm just gonna put it on the free gift. And the free gift was stickers, but of course I ran out of those with that relaunch so we're gonna make it do what it do i got makeup and everything so it's gonna be a surprise in each package guys there's a timer that calls the light to go off every 30 minutes so i'll be right back Ta -da! so i have this purple bin free gifts I'm gonna put them in this bin. But first, to make me and sugar life easier, 
I'm gonna get the thank you stickers and go ahead and put them on stuff that's already in a package. That way, when we have busy days and have to package a whole bunch of stuff, you can just grab. I need to learn how to do the small stuff when we're not busy. Like, um, we should come up here and put the Comes for Me by Nikki stickers on the envelopes and, you know, little stuff like that that we can cut out when we're shipping packing orders that gets in the way. Or maybe I should just go to Sticker Mule and buy Polly Miller's with my logo already on it. But we all know that's expensive. So I'm not gonna lie, I put the free gifts in here according to how much you spend. So of course, if you spend a whole lot of money, I put a NARS lipstick or something in here. That only makes sense, guys. You can't tell me that doesn't make sense. Like if you get one item, I'll put you a, um, a sample in here. You buy $170 worth of stuff, baby, you get a MAC lipstick or something. That's only common sense. So yeah, let me finish this off. So this is what it looked like so far. But I do have all of this stuff that's brand new, but it's not in anything. So I'm gonna put it in here, then put the sticker on it. Guys, that's everything I brought for today. Um, I'll bring more up here daily. So yeah, I think this is a great idea. Y'all let make up too, I hope. <laughs> In here, blah, blah, blah. Add it right there, and boom. Well, I need to make some more hot in here space. I only have three, so let me put that on the board. That's all, folks. All right, guys, so that didn't take an hour because the light didn't go off again. <laughs> And I'm off work. 45 minutes and I'm off work. There are some perks to being an entrepreneur. When it's not stressful and you don't have two, three, four, five, six, seven hundred orders to get out. Which is not stressful. That's fun. That's a blessing, but you get what I'm saying. So off to the post office. Operation got the storage bins. Let's start on these two. Then I got two more in the garage. Honey. Oh. Jesus. Going through it and this stuff is a mess because I hadn't been to the shop in six, seven months. So I'm like, do I need to clean this? So whoever I give it to can clean it. Ah, things that make it go. Hmm. Extremely quick and easy lunch break. Baked potatoes have been doing really well on my stomach as long as I don't put too much dairy in it. I don't feel comfortable giving this stuff to nobody. Because it's I'm not gonna clean it right now. And it's set up so long and it has makeup everywhere. Um, this is the stuff that I'm gonna give away down here, and this is the stuff I'm keeping. So I have to go through four trash bags of this. I'm on the second one now. Baby, who would be where they go? Crunching these peppermints was me. Got a whole damn bin. And yeah, so I'm over here. Oh, I'm gonna miss the shop. Kind of. <laughs> Went to the outlet and they didn't have these in my baby size. So she came home and ordered them herself. Very different, but it's okay. They're on sale for $25. <laughs> I'll tell you that. <laughs> Guys, this is the bin that's going to a makeup artist. That's the stuff that's going to the warehouse. Goodies. I'm going to save them for the small black business haul, but screenshot, screenshot, screenshot. She's a local makeup artist. This is who's picking up some of the makeup from the shop, and she has her own line. You want to say hey? She don't want to say hey? <laughs> All right, bye, y'all. We got a, a guest at work today. Okay. 
she came to work. Okay. So we brought some stuff up here. You can use. Things you can use. So let us get this done because I'm tired. I've been running around all day, if you guys can tell. So we're back on the free gifts. I had a bunch of these. Smashbox lipsticks. A bunch of them then I should. We're free gifting them. So I should just put them in a clear pack and I'm just putting the thank you stick on top so we can get on up out of here. So that's the extra bin. I don't like that. I'm gonna end up printing that anyway. <laughs> Look baby, they stacked to the ceiling. It's the last one, so here's the free gifts. Did a little rearranging. You, yeah, just all the best we got left. Y'all ain't playing. Y'all done emptied the beans and everything. You ready, Big Shook? Mm -hmm. Let go. Hey, hey Big Shook. Mama, don't do that. What is your room doing? Stop. Okay. It was my birthday, but when y'all saw me in Marshalls or something, show them everything. I brought my baby back. Hurry up so my clips won't be wrong. Hey, 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 and hey, hey. Big Shoe just hit 1K. <laughs> okay, come on. Hey, 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 hey. Put out this play. I got a yellow purse, a gray purse. Girl, slow down. You just said. Okay, pull the other ones while I show them. You got some drawers on the bed or something? No. <laughs> no. I got her these too. They good quality too. This I purse is if it had this strap on it. That purse. And then, Girl, she done changed the straps out. I was going to wear it, but I didn't. Who you on FaceTime with? Why you got them paused? Come on, come they on. They got me paused. Oh. This pink purse. Then this uh, fanny pack that came with a belt. This belt fanny pack. Yeah, I was just. I can't go nowhere without getting big shoes. So. You need a purse rack, boo. I, know, I told boo. you to look up one. I forgot, boo. Whatever. Said she left a purse out. Oh no, she, she got a stank. <laughs> red purse. This little red purse right here. City train, I think. Where was I in? City train? I believe so. All right, bye. Go back to your FaceTime. <laughs> so, guys, I just picked up my lunch and, um, a memory came up on dang the phone turned the wrong way a memory came up on my snapchat this is probably all i'm gonna do today because i did the most yesterday and i gotta go home and tag libra leggings because it's three big ass boxes at the house three years ago me at dinner with her diary with zahar whatever and i was like i've been saying you know i know she regret how she did me um, I have people emailing me all the time trying to sue her. I don't want no parts in it. Um, I know she's doing bad. I know she's hiding. I know investors are looking for her, but I still don't wish bad on that woman. And I guess my mama just raised me right because that woman hurt me to the core. I was depressed almost a year over that shit. Um, because if you guys remember, I linked the video. Not only did she not come through on her, her contract with me, but she made me stop working with 10 other companies. So my money and shit was funny for like six to seven months after that till I snapped out of it and remembered who the fuck I was. And until I got like my attorneys and well, I can look over legal documents alone because you guys know I have a pre-law degree, but I like other people because it's been a long time since I've been in school. So I just wanna make sure I'm still, you know, getting this shit right in my head. But anyway, the moral of that story is me wishing bad on that woman or ha 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 or joining in on lawsuits and stuff to her is not going to help me in life. It's not going to help me prosper. My business is doing great. Um, Yeah, I say all the time I know she hate that she, you know, fucked over that business deal with me. But at the same time, I don't wish no ill will on her, no harm on her. If I saw the lady today, I'll speak her and give her a hug. I just know not to do business with her anymore. And, you know, the Lord has already taken care of her on that end. Sometimes we got to take things out of our hands and let the Lord deal with it. You get what I'm saying? Because, yeah, all these people write me. Yeah, I kid you not. People are sending me long transcripts, voice recording, bank statements, million dollar um investments that went bad. 
like um and will you hop in on this and i don't even respond i don't because i'm at peace right now and so why would i shake that back up that was three years ago now so the moral of that is the memory popped up and i just felt oh i'm just all over the place y'all but i just felt like i needed to share that with y'all so you ain't gotta handle everything that lady is hiding in everything right now and you know i wish I, you know I, I i hate that for her i really do because the lady i don't feel like she's just like a fucking scammer i think she just bit off more than she could chew and didn't know how to navigate once it fucked up does that make sense so with that being said i hope she's okay they're acrylic and they're my logo i got these last week deal of the week employee of the month go make sure her mama back ain't hurting come on now hold up hold it at the back mama, end i know what to do okay let go got the truck parked right here uh -oh, push it at the back Libra leggings everywhere, guys. That's the first time the bus. Yeah, they're not even open yet, and I'm here for y'all. As a matter of fact, no, I was just gonna go through the bag, but I ain't got number about four packages. That's just doing too much. But yeah, they open at eight <laughs> thirty. Boy, this song on repeat. I don't know why. This is the first song that's on my playlist right now. So everybody be like, you love that song. It just so happened that I only turn on the radio when I'm snapping or something. And it's the first song that come up. Oh, I'm done in there. And this is my magic jacket. Fashion over. Um. Yeah. I about to tell you. I had something to tell you. I don't come on camera unless I got to tell y'all something. I got a package. Let's see who it's from. I've been to this post office. This is the one all the way across the town where my P.O. box all the way across the town where my P.O. box is at three times this week. So I usually don't come this much. Oh, this is so sweet. I bought something from one of you guys for my black owned business haul and it came broke. I mean broke, broke. So she resent it out well it's called black pride candles so yeah that was so sweet so i'm about to head back my dad is at the hospital getting an ultrasound i'm gonna call my hair today i promise y'all he's at the hospital getting an ultrasound so i'm gonna head back there and try to catch the end of it um yeah i'm extremely tired i stayed up all yesterday doing those libra leggings to nine o'clock at night like I, I had an attitude with everybody and everything because like, yeah, I could have been done at like seven. I had been tagging them all day and everything, but I had to tell Nicole, dang, you can come up here and help. Like, I don't like this shit. But anyway, yeah, I slid that on in there, but um, I'm extremely tired because I stay. And then I didn't eat till like nine something last night because I worked so late. And you guys know I haven't ate after like six, seven o'clock in six, seven months now. That's how I'm losing so much weight too. So this, that kind of had me scared because I'm like, oh hell, I'm going to get sick in the middle of the night. But actually my girl has been doing good. And I wanted to address something about that too because y'all know I address everything because people don't know unless you say something. So my last vlog, somebody was like okay first of all 
somebody was in my comments one time to my I told her to go get that. I told her to go get this chick. I told and did like a little roll of eyes face. But this is what y'all need to know. It is a, a national pandemic right now. You can't just walk up into the damn hospital and make appointments and shit. That's not how it go. And for my condition, I can't do that, period. My doctor has to refer me to a specialist. So like I've said in another video, I got stacks of doctor papers this thick where I've had all this shit tested on me so don't just assume I haven't had that done or don't just feel like I can just go to the walk in a doctor right now hey test out my stomach for this test out my esophagus for this like I can't fucking do that what the hell who the hell y'all think I am so that's one thing and then another video um somebody was like you've been going you've been sick way too long it's time for you to get this check and this check and this check listen y'all who wants to be sick way this long let's start there second of all i know what condition i got i've told y'all a million times i just don't be taking my medication because why i feel like everything can be cured naturally or why should i take medication when all i gotta do is eat right and watch what i eat like girl is flared up by what you eat so if I don't eat that stuff, I'm good. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Y'all saying take your medicine, take your medicine, take your medicine. I get that, I get that. But y'all don't understand or y'all don't know me. And y'all don't know the side effects that medicine, that medicine be doing. Muscle spasms, and migraines and shit. So I actually feel better when I don't take it. So that answers that. And then, um, this last vlog, I'm sorry, I just be going on a tangent. This last vlog, um, this last vlog, this last vlog, I was sick. It was my birthday. I was sick, sick. Here's what you guys don't understand also. When I say I'm sick or I'm not feeling well, I was sick all last week and didn't say nothing to Nicole because her priority was my priority and, and you know, what I wanted the focus to be on was her mom and dad. I didn't want to get all the way to Nashville and Birmingham and steal all the attention and she have to stay in the hotel room with me because I'm sick, okay? This is what you guys fail to realize though. When I say I'm sick, that does not mean GERD, okay? I have fibroids and I have high blood pressure. So, last week it was my blood pressure bothering me because since i've been diagnosed with GERD my pressure has been a one i haven't had any problems of course why because i'm eating right and all of a sudden it just decided to spaz out one day last week and i don't know if that's because i had ate this turkey burger from red robin on my nerves and she was just so riled up you know going to see nicole Paris for one i'm still scared as hell because of the pandemic it had to fly for two nicole was a nervous wreck last week still is and for three that's a lot for me to watch both of her parents fighting cancer like that and both of mine have or had fought cancer so stop assuming you know everything guys i get i don't get tired of explaining myself but i like for you guys to see to know what really go on like i'm a transparent vlogger i put everything on youtube so if y'all assume something i like to clear it up so that was the issue last week so what happens is my blood pressure was spiraling out of control i guess because my nerves and stuff was bad because i don't eat bad anymore i eat a pinch of something now and then and one night it shot up so once your blood pressure shoots up like that it can't shoot back down real quick or you'll be sick as hell because basically your heart is trying to adjust to the way your blood is pumping so you gradually have to lower your blood pressure or you'll be real drowsy nauseous dizzy and so last week i was kind of um just not feeling myself let's just say that and i didn't know whether it was the blood pressure for sure because we are in the middle of a pandemic and so I wanted to be safe. And that's why I didn't want to like really be all up in the cold mom and dad face. Because hell, we had been traveling and everything. So I didn't know if I wasn't feeling well. Shit, I caught Corona somewhere or what? Shit, hell, I didn't know. So I just tried to stay ducked off in the hotel a little bit. You get what I'm saying? So anyway, I've done seven fucking minutes of rambling. Goodbye.
guys, here are my other keychains. They're round. This is cute. Let me put one of these on my key ring. Key ring. <laughs> I just ordered two sets this time. I should order more. Looking for these, y'all. I had ordered boxes and was like, they ain't here yet. And they're here. Post this is my small business hack of the week. And uh, <laughs> order boxes and have them shipped to your doorstep. Big sure go get them for these. So we're going to take my Halloween pictures because tonight I got to go to Boo Bash Man Shower, which is a baby shower for my cousin, the man part of it. So I'm going to get my pictures out the way now. that in like not even five minutes right right girl i did that um, baby me and the couple still been ordering period hold on so talk to her. so yeah you see me you, you see, see me, me. <laughs> <laughs> period and goodbye period period next shot period period okay i'm done all right yeah. say fully yeah, so I'm gonna have to change wigs and everything because switch my wig and feel like a cheat. <laughs> <laughs> but I don't have a red one, but I got like a curly one. So, sh and we brought shopping bags. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh I almost got you. Okay, start uh, plucking those bags out for the shade. It's the closest I could get to when she went shopping, when they kicked out the store. So, sweetheart, I gotta hurry up because mama gotta pee. <laughs> oh, my thing broke, so my wig ain't gonna stay on my head. We just gotta do what we gotta do. Because this week, oh, hey, hello, too this fine. Time. Too fine. This week, too broke. This stuff in here. Hold up. Ooh. <laughs> Cut my wig for this, but it was only $19. See how I can try to make this fit on my head because baby from the right this thing sticking out oh shit we really gonna have to uh but now go this there we go everybody at red zoos look like it sugar overrated hate it <laughs> all right the whole wig the wig held on for their life ah <laughs> uh. mm. Let me check my pictures out before we leave. I don't even know. Oh, wait, wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> Period. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, that's it. <laughs> All right, guys. So, I am headed to get... Just me some shades. I am headed to get um, the gifts. While wow. Nicole is still making shirts. This is her newest design. All action, no talk. Um, she's making shook shirts still, so I'm gonna leave them at home and go ahead and get the gift. about to go bleed the block baby shower ain't ready i don't want to be sitting with all them people in my face anyway you see us all action no talk oh that's what we could have been doing what we come back to nicole come outside take our pictures yeah okay here we go yeah <laughs> <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute it's purple okay oh shit <laughs> y'all get a uh how y'all doing? Come on. She's scared. Her. Wait. Wait. Well, we were, well, it's too late now. I'm going to go with Nicole. She left me. 
Look at the baby. Oh! <laughs> All right, so we deep now. Yeah, I can't even see. Oh, no. the there we go. Yeah, red ready? Yeah. 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 Enchiladas, nachos, nacho, 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 n